here we go again, back with more prototyping men their road to monument. Today we have two races to do place books and quarter destinations. The first one here is a hill, stays, the second one is a time trial, which I probably don't have much chance, but I'll try and test my time trial since I think it's the first time trial I had to do with this rider. But yeah, nobody's in crazy up on our team, nobody will screen it's really aggressive overall since the main season for all of the great riders have ended after the World Championship and the Duty Lombardia. So now it's just about getting your final results of the seasons. And we're starting off here in press books. Last 25 km of the race, I'm sitting far up front. So if I haven't lost that much energy yet, but I don't think I've got much of a chance. And actually right now I'm expecting a top 20 placement. I'm pretty, pretty hopeful at the moment for my placement. I feel like I'm doing really well and I've got the right strategy here. So let's see, Brot free and Daysaver as well. That's a good news on top of that. Climbs aren't that steep and you see going into one right here uh, around 11% but it's really really short and then it goes flat again a lot of climb but still as we can see here it's not this, the craziest climbs we're going over today so I'm actually predicting that of course some riders will get away and uh, 20 the guy who actually beat me last time the last video would like him to not win today <laughs> One of them prevents you he ended up beating me in a sprint with about centimeters in front of me and not only getting third. There was four riders on the line. It was really, really close. Uh, Bagil, Lastras, and we also have guys like Kay Inca and Tish Pinot, who are some of the famous for the race. We haven't really seen them make their move yet. Kyo uh, Inca, Lopez. Oh my god, I didn't even realize we're so close to the finish line. Who's in front? It's all the Twilly guy and my teammate first time is out in front actually. Okay. So this uh, Twilly guy has to be going to win. The, the guy I'd say I didn't want to win is actually going to win this time. That is pretty annoying. I actually have a lot of empty left. I'm, I thought it was a lot longer to the finish line than it actually was. So that's a bit annoying. Especially because I have apparently so much in the left. And to 20 guys up here celebrating. I'll take second. I can't believe I get second here. What happened to all of the other favorites? They ended up beating, beating them by a lot as well. I mean, uh, that's annoying right now. Why couldn't they just catch this 20 guy? He wasn't even a threat. He wasn't even that good. Uh, that's probably why I didn't catch him though. Second place, again beaten by this 20 guys. Becoming my arch nemesis in this this pro cycles mode. Let's get to the next one. It's time trial. Second place, I'm still happy about it. Uh, let's see what can happen. And here we have Corner Destinations. It's a time trial. I have 64 rated time trial. Best guy on the team, Gat Chua. It's actually in quote in great shape right now. He might be able to get a top five result. Considering I don't think they'll, they'll be have the strongest competitors in this race. But yeah, it's 40 comes long. I'm hoping for a top. What should we say? Top 30, that's pretty, that's pretty good top 30. Let's try. Okay, it's my turn now, I'm the fourth last round of our to start. That's probably because I've, it's always ranged by alphabetic order after the captain. So I mean, I'm J, so that's kind of in the middle. Uh, I think I'll go with 60 here to begin with. Uh, the annoying thing about time trials like this is there's no time check during the race. You can't see, really see how you're doing compared to your competitors. It's you can only look behind you and see, okay, I'm at 45.6, he's at 46.6, and the guy in front of me is 44.1. Of course, right here, I can, I can uh, have an excuse that the hill is the, is the reason why I'm not that close to the guy in front of me. But maybe I'm just slower, I don't know. I can just see the time percent as well. He has 70 the guy in front of me, so that's pretty good, honestly. He's probably going to beat me. And the guy behind me has 69, so they're both better than me. It wouldn't be unlikely to see me being overtaken by guy behind me and I'm not going to have a chance as against the guy out in front. But for now we're just going to 60 plus two days here, it's actually okay. Not dissatisfied about that. Hoping right now I'm actually hoping for top 50 seeing my competitors. Uh, I was originally going for top 30 of course as I said. But so we'll check we can check again here. 21.5 uh 21 21.5 19.7 that's 1.8 and the other guy is one kilometer behind me. Can see him, his name right down here, just behind the corner. 
of course, I can't see the guy in front of me because he's about two kilometers ahead. But it's looking okay so far, actually. My green and blue bar are falling pretty nicely. Nice pulse at the moment, 170. Uh, still around one kilometer behind me and one and a half kilometer in front of me are the two guys I started in between. So I'm keeping the pace at the moment. Not really losing or gaining any time to anybody. So far it's Monteguti, a uh, talent rider from 82R, who's leading the race at the finish line. But the captains will start coming out soon. See again, 4.9, 800 meters down and 1.8 up front. I think they're going faster here at the finish. Uh, I, don't, I don't have energy to do my usual sprint as I normally do. I still don't even have the energy to even finish. I just thought we were going into the starting ramp to finish off, but we are just turning here. Probably left, yeah. Okay, just thinking. It's almost catching up with me. Got around the corner right here. You can just see him here. 14th place so far. It's actually the best on my team, and I think that some of the guys on my team had better stats than me. So, good result. Let's see how my teammates does. In the end, I ended up 34th place. Pretty good result. So close to top 30, only 5 seconds away. Uh, winner was Fabio Ferdinand from Trek. You are from my team ended up 7 in Luis San Sanchez and Quell ended up in 2nd and 3rd place. Let's just see one final thing before we end this video. And here it is, what I want to show you guys. I was so close to leveling up and I knew I just needed a few more weeks of training, actually only about 2 weeks. So, a really nice bonus to my hill stats, up to 72 now. Mountains is finally my no longer I have any stats in the 50s, all my stats is plus 60 now. Mountains up to 60. Time trial improved, Holog improved. I actually improved my cobblestone and sprint acceleration as well. Summer improved by a lot as well as resistance. So all the winners in life level up. Really happy about my hills one. Because uh, of course, my goal is to win the split from the edge and uh, Duty Lombardia, which are both really hilly classics. So getting a result like this, plus three, is a really nice bonus and it's already looking much greater for next season right now. That's it for this video. Next time will be in Season 2 and I don't know what I will start out with, but uh, I'll find out. See you guys next time. Goodbye.